Hi, my name is Tyler, and this is Aftertouch Audio. Stereo audio files are the most commonly recorded and delivered audio asset for sound effects libraries. So does that make stereo better? Short answer, no, but let's break it down a bit. Video game sound design and film sound design tend to follow the same rules whether your effect will be mono or stereo. So let's look at each sound category and explain why they tend to be mono or tend to be stereo. Before we get started, if you have enjoyed these videos and want to support the channel, head on over to my website at aftertouchaudio.com where we have recorded a bunch of custom sound effects that you can use in any of your projects. And if you would like to see more sound design videos like this, consider hitting that like and subscribe button which will help me spend more time making content like this for everyone. Music. 90% of the time is going to be stereo, unless it is diegetic, meaning the characters can hear the music coming from a record player or somewhere from within the environment. Ambiences are going to be stereo, however you can have mono environmental effects that trigger from time to time. Almost all of your dialogue will be mono. The only time where it might not be mono is when you have like a pre-rendered effect on it like reverb or delay that might want to go ahead and have some sort of stereo effect. Foley tends to be mono, especially in the film area, where it is almost 100% mono. The only time in games where Foley might be stereo is when you're doing a first-person shooter and you are the character, and the Foley is so close to the camera that it's going to hit both ears. Sound effects can be both mono or stereo. For effects like transitions or objects that take up 70% of the screen, these effects can be considered stereo. The basic rule to follow here for games is if the sound is a 2D asset, it can be both mono or stereo. But if the asset is going to have 3D spatialization, it is always going to be mono. So it is best if the asset is only going to be mono to deliver these assets in mono. That way you can help with uh, things like resource management and just, you know, cut the size of your files down. Now, this is a good general list to follow, but there are some exceptions to it. Like, for example, a single sound effect can sometimes have both mono and stereo elements to it. Let's say we are designing a packet of sounds for a first person shooter. Each gun will need both player and NPC sounds and the assets can be broken up like this. Player specific sounds would include the player atmos or the tails, the player fire, and the player mech. If you think about it this way, the shot is emanating from the tip of the barrel, where the mech is coming from both sides of the gun, and the sound of the tail is actually coming back from the environment around you. So this shot would be considered mono, the mech would be considered stereo, and the tail would be considered stereo. Layering sounds like this will actually go ahead and give each element its own space to breathe within your mix. NPC specific sounds can include the atmos distance, <laughs> The fire close, the fire distance, and the fire far, the NPC mech. The atmos are specifically the sound coming back to you from the environment around you. So those layer will hit both ears and will be stereo. The shot layer, however, is going to be mono because it is coming from a specific location that you can point to. The closer the sound gets to the player, the more stereo that effect can be, all the way up into the point where the NPC is on top of the other player. We'll be just dandy in this corner. What do you think? What do you think, Mr. Sink? Mr. Sink's my best friend. As the NPC gets further and further from the player, the mech and other elements will just be brought down in the mix, so that way there's actually no real need to actually create uh, distant mech layers. Shared assets between player and NPC can include the ADS sounds, the reload sequences broken up into individual audio events, and the LFE sounds. The shared assets would include the Foley and the LFE samples, and those can be brought in as stereo elements for the first-person shooters, or it can be converted into mono within your game engine for NPC layers. When it comes to the film side of things, all guns, unless super close to the camera, are considered to be mono. So when you get a new sound effects library, don't be afraid to abuse the convert to mono button or just extract mono or stereo channels out of a 5.1 ambience file. Sometimes I'll use 5.1 files just broken up into three separate files the center, the stereo left and right, and the left and right surrounds. I will then go ahead and fill the remaining tracks with other ambiences from different libraries or stuff that I've recorded, or I might just take the surround sounds out and use those as like a background distant layer for traffic or something. Anyways, I hope this has helped you guys. This has actually been one of my biggest feedback that I've been giving over on my Discord channel. If you'd like to join, we would love to have you there. We've got an awesome community of people there. And I hope this has provided some clarity on when to use stereo or when to use mono effects. Anyways, Go make some noise.